just looking for the sports channel. Alrighty. Well, we had a whipsaw Friday in the market today. We're barely staying alive. It was a perfect day day trading. Some profits were given back from swing trading. Net net on the day, you know, plus around $150, maybe about $200 as it's constantly fluctuating. But today's main lesson is going to be wiggle in and wiggle out. The SPY was super choppy today, but we were able to have really good day trades. So our first trade of the day was on Uber, and we posted the Uber over $50 a share to go long. And I said that Uber is my favorite. Well, in the morning, we got this nice good push up. And as we started to curl up, I actually went ahead and got a feeler contract, meaning a just small size, you know, one contract expiring next week. Um, on, on Uber, just over 49.80. Stop was just underneath 49.25. Stop held. We put in this nice, good bullish wedges pattern. Remember, we're making lower highs and lower lows, but it's contained. Nice, good hammer candle. And as we started to come out of the, 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 the wedge pattern, I went ahead and added to Uber right there over 49.75. I'm wiggling into my position. So I'm starting to add size. Uber is very um, non-volatile contracts. So we're able to, you know, wiggle in, wiggle out, get um, some good size and be able to scale in and scale out. So first contract right there, added right there as we came out of the bull wedge. Then look, we formed a nice little mini one minute bull flag. We got the move up. We had the rip, uh, Resistance at the previous high of the day, which was uh, 49.98, just in front of that $50 a share. We put in this nice little one minute bull flag and we went ahead and added to Uber right over here, just over $50 a share as we said we had Got a massive pop all the way to 50.30, but couldn't really get out right there. Then we got this nice good push up. I went ahead and peeled off one contract right at 50.15, just to put some money in my um, pockets. And that was for a nice good 10 bucks. And as we pushed up and extended through the high of the day, I went ahead and took one contract off at 50.40. Then we got this really good extended push. And I pretty much nailed the high of the day on that move. Um, 50.70. We still were holding some other Uber calls and stuff. And so that's why I was taking profits rather than, you know, just letting it go. But Uber, nice good revenue trade on the day trading side of things of $126. However, that's not our um, total profit on Uber. We did have to take a hit on Uber later on in the day because it gave back a lot of its gains. Minus $50 on the second part of Uber. Because Uber started to sell off, we, we had some shares. And as you can see, we're down $31 on those shares. Just couldn't really get out of the position, kind of as I talked about. It was enough to where I was willing to risk overnight, but Uber faded all day. And the reason Uber was my favorite pick and why I was posting it and liked it so much, it was similar to the Qualcomm trade, if you remember me mentioning that. We had this nice good pullback, and we went sideways for one, two, three, four days. On the fifth day, it's likely to break out and, ha and be pretty big. So that's why I liked Uber so much. It's a breakout on the daily chart. Nice move up. Sideways consolidation, I'll even draw it out for you. Move up, sideways consolidation. Buyers um, are just not really willing to sell at these high prices. So eventually this, the, the sellers get taken out and the buyers take over. However, it was a false breakout type of day, especially with um, virus news and stuff like that. So Uber probably isn't the best um, in terms of long-term and fundamentals at this point in time right now. Qualcomm had the same daily chart as Uber. We had the flat top resistance, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days where we just kept hitting our head at the 150 level. We went on Qualcomm the other day. Remember we went long over 150 and we were kind of trapped in that position. We wanted to take profits at 153, but we just had to short some shares to hedge off our deltas. Barely did a good job and, and um, Really, Qualcomm was the big reason why we didn't really get much traction on the Thinkorswim account, uh, minus $174 because we were trapped in that position. But, you know, that was the risk that I was willing to take. Looking forward, I am swing trading net a Netflix call spread. We were kind of, again, trapped in this just a little bit based on the SPY sell-off, which we'll talk about in a bit. But Netflix had this nice good push-up, pull back. I went ahead and got long, just over $492 on a vertical spread. Uh, we buying the 490, selling the 495. Still has a chance to hit, but we paid 230 for that open PL of down 32 on that. So that is Netflix. Moving forward, we are swing trading Square. Square just keeps getting upgrades after upgrades, and we went ahead and went long on Square, just over 194. We even posted this in the YouTube chat and the Discord chat to go long over 194. 
Had you taken that trade today, even on same day contracts, boom, getting a 3% move on Square on a Friday is pretty, pretty good to me. We did it. We were able to catch and swing trades from shares, which we were able to make a decent amount of money on. And our open PL was really high at, at one point, but now it's just, you know, just $5 on the call spread, vertical spread, buying the 192.50, selling the 195 on SQ. And then lastly, we are swinging some SPY shorts. We were talking about how SPY closed pretty bearishly and how we need to hedge off our, our positive deltas. We are talking about triangle patterns and how we were stuck in this range. We're making lower highs and higher lows at the same time. Look at the volume though. Towards the end of the day, we started to break down. Similar to on Weenie Wednesday, we had the sell-off right at the end of the day. It was bullish until it wasn't. So bullish until it wasn't gapping up and then going sideways. And then we've started to break down. So we are swinging some put spreads. And those put spreads are do have some open PL of plus $19. And then we are still swinging, you know, some other in, um, put spreads, you know, SPY 355, 354, 354, 353. So really good day. Um, Could have been a lot better. It was, you know, at one point we were up, you know, $500, $600. But you can't always close all that open profit and loss. Let's get ready for another good week. We had an amazing week. Be sure to say hi on Weenie Trades Live. Everybody's having fun, learning a lot, they're saying, and they're, you know, making lots of money, um, buying buying appliances, buying refrigerators, buying stuff like that, buying vacuums <laughs> with all their profits. So, alrighty. Have a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.